Hey everybody, today what we're going to do is review the Pittsburgh 3 jaw pilot bearing puller. The item number is 04876. It's perfect for flywheel bearings, pump bearings, and generator starter bearings. Um, it's got a limited lifetime, remove bearings without damage to the race and everything, fits sleeves up to from 3 quarters to 1 and a half, 19 millimeter to 38 millimeter. Okay, so let's take her open, shall we? Oh, and of course, on the back, always wear your approved safety goggles and stuff. Okay, so this is what you get. There's your box. There's your instruction. So here you go with the bearing puller three jaw model 4876 assembly operations instructions distributed exclusively by Harbor Freight. Copyrighted 1997. So this has been out for a little while. And you'll notice on it's kind of backwards printed. But there's your limited lifetime warranty from Harbor Freight. Your unpacking and assembly. Your tools, materials required. Operations manual basically saying what it, how you need to put it together and how you use it. Your parts illustration list. Remember though, it doesn't have a part number for each part, so if you had to replace it, you probably end up having to replace the whole assembly and not just an individual part. And then your important safety instructions, and then down here is your model serial number purchase date and stuff like that, and then basically more of a little itemized description and proper use and storage. Okay. So then, what you have is your whole little assembly sitting just like this. Okay, and it comes with its Allen key. Okay, the whole assembly is what you see right here. Okay, you have the jaws, the anvil, the frame, the legs, the locking bolts for the legs, the push or pull nut, the handle, and the main shaft. Okay, approximately three and a quarters wide. The legs are approximately three and a quarters long. The uh, jaws are approximately three inches, but your only actual work area is only gonna be, looks like three quarters of an inch right there. And then the whole measurement of everything is right about eight and a half inches long from here to here say eight and eight and a half inches long all right so basically how this is going to work you lock your legs where you want so you just tighten them down and then when you push this in put this inside the bearing you come up here clockwise and what happens is, is that will push the claws out and they'll lock into the bearing and then you use this nut and it'll go ahead and pull when you're tightening it will slowly pull the claws and the bearing up out of the race or not the race but out of the housing that it's in that is it let's go ahead and get started okay first things first get it in place even it out where everything sits fine now what you're going to have to do is kind of work it a little bit to where everything is straight up and down. Now one thing I did notice with this is um, I think the feet aren't perfect. So you might have to do a little grinding on the feet to make them perfect if you really want a straight up and down perfect level and all that. Okay, so basically right there is what we got. Okay, first things first. You're wanting to drive the anvil down into the jaw to spread it. Okay, so what you do is you basically hold this while going clockwise and it drives the jaw down there. And you'll notice it snugs up. Now it's spinning right now because it's also with the bearing. Now you're going to have a chance where your legs are going to move a little bit. That's okay because you haven't put any major tension on it. You go ahead now with where you're sitting you're snug you're ready to go so then you take your hand put it on the handle and you go clockwise 
And what this is doing is now making the claws pull that bearing up, okay? This is no longer affected by you turning the handle unless you were to hold it here and turn it. Then that changes. But you hold it here, you got the base nut, you start turning, and if you notice, start watching that bearing, okay? You'll feel a pop sometimes when you do these. That's just letting you know that the bearing is let go and it's starting to work its way up. Now, I don't recommend getting in there with a big ass cheater bar and stuff. If you can't, know your limits. Know when you gotta say when. So then basically what you've done now is you can go ahead, you pull it up, and there you go. Take that, put that off the side. You see how the feet are? See how they locked in? Okay. Bearing still spins. Could care less. This is old bearing. We'll get in that in a later video. So now to release the bearing, go counterclockwise while holding that, the jaw assembly. Just go counterclockwise. Bearing falls off. Make sure you're still healthy and everything still works. Then come back. Loosen up your legs. I mean, you really don't even have to have them really too tight. And then you go back and you put it on and it's nice little sleepy coat. And you're done. Now, one thing I recommend is when you go ahead and put these in for storage and stuff, and if you know you ain't gonna use it, spray it down with some WD-40 or some water displacement. Just keep them clean because you'll notice after a while your hand oil and your sweat will start corroding these so, so they'll last longer. Spray them down with a little bit of stuff and you are done. Um, I know that I'm not spraying it down right now, but that's because I've got another project that I possibly be needing it on later on today. But anyways, I hope that video helps. If you got any questions or anything, feel free to ask. Um, do I recommend it? Yeah, if it's for something like on engines and stuff, little things, yeah. Big giant ones, no, I don't recommend it, but it's a pretty stout little thing. Now, some things that you might realize with taking out bearings on certain things is sometimes you could go around with a torch, heat up the metal around it, or heat up, and so that'll cause it to expand a little bit and give you a little bit of play. Um, but other than that, for those pullers, those things are great. That's a nice little setup. So anyways, this us try I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.